with the amount of time that you've been putting into thinking up blog topics and, and writing your posts, I thought you'd like to find out a way that you can measure how many people are reading your site. If people leave comments, you'll know that they've read your post, but most people read posts and don't leave comments. So the number of free stat programs that you can add to your blog that will tell you how many people have been reading it, where they've been coming from, uh, what other websites have sent them to you, who's linking to you, and what parts of the world they're coming from. There are a number of these programs, but I like this program called StatCounter at StatCounter.com. And if you go to this website, you can register for a free account. All they'll need from you is your name, your um, an, an email address, and the URL for your blog. And I've already done that, and, and they walk you through that. It's fairly straightforward. So I'm going to skip to uh, a step that comes a little bit later. After you set up your account, it's going to ask you what kind of uh, counter you want to add to your blog. And that can be a visible counter where it lists how many people have seen your blog, an invisible counter that shows nothing. I like these buttons. It, it promotes this free service so other people know that you're using it and they, they might use it too. And it doesn't show how many people have actually been looking at your blog. If that number is on the low side, maybe that's not something you want to put on there until you have lots and lots of hits. So I'm going to choose this button only option here and click on next. You can pick the style of button that you want and I'm going to select that one there. And then it'll ask you if you want to add a link so that people can click on your button and see your statistics. And I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'm going to keep that private. Click on next. It's then going to ask to please, please choose your blog or web page editor inst installer. Basically, it's asking what kind of blogging platform are you using. And we're using Blogger for our blogs. So I'm going to choose Blogger here. Uh, I'm going to leave these blank. And now it's given us a piece of HTML code that we need to insert into our blog. And, and maybe that sounds nasty, and maybe it looks nasty, but it's really quite straightforward. And they give you all the directions that you need to do it here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that, but the directions will be here on the Stack Counter site. So for now, I'm going to click and drag over that, and I'm going to copy it using a copy command. And now I'm going to go over to the blog that uh, I want to add the stat counter to. And that's going to be our Ashland Science News blog, which I have not added a stat counter to yet. Um, so to add that HTML code to your blog and, and have the stat counter start measuring who's visiting your blog, you just want to go to Customize, sign in if you need to, and then click on Customize for your blog. And then you can add that button, that stat counter button, either on the right side of your blog or down at the bottom. And I'm going to add it down at the bottom. So I'm going to add a gadget. And we want to just add an HTML box. This is going to be a box that will sit down at the bottom of your blog that we can put that HTML code in. And that will be the code that the, uh, that the, uh, the website needs to, to measure your visitors. So I'm going to click plus here by HTML. We don't need a title. All we want to do is now paste the HTML code into the content box and click Save. And now I'm going to preview what this looks like. If I go down all the way to the bottom, there it is. There is the stack counter box. So that worked. And now I'm going to click Save and View Blog. And once again, if I now scroll down to the bottom, there it is. There's a the stat counter. So I think that worked. Um, to make sure, we can go back to our stat counter page. We're finished here. And go to My Projects. And there's my project name, Ashland Science News, and it shows that there are two visits. And those were the two times I clicked on the site to see if it worked. And now this program is going to start monitoring the number of visitors that come to the site. It's that easy. So if you'd like to do this, give this a try. Uh, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. And maybe you want to ask the other members in your group if this is something that, this is something that they would be interested in as well. But that's the way that you can put a stat counter on your website.